All right, guys, I am back with another part of Let's Get to Know Sunset Valley, and we are changing families again. Uh, we are done with the working friends and the land grabs now. We're moving on to the wolf family because that is the only suggestion that I got, so I'm rolling with it. If more of you guys get on board, then don't forget to always let me know what family you would like to see next. I know that I didn't give like a lot of time before I do my next recording, but um, I wanted to get another one of these parts out for you guys, and I think the wolf family would be a good family to go with. So we're going to go with them, and this episode is going to be their makeovers and an intro and things like that. So, to start off, I'll just read you guys what their little blurb is. First of all, it's a guy and his wife, and they're called the Wolf Family with two Fs. Okay, and to read this, it says, Both the arts and having children are very important to Morgana Wolf, but she has just learned that her new husband, Thornton, actively dislikes both. Oops. <laughs> Can these newlyweds save their young marriage? Should they even try? That's a good question, and I guess we will come in and solve that right up for them. Their house is on a beautiful location right here on a cliff with a personal, almost, beach in the back, which is pretty amazing. I would love to live in a place like that. So, lucky ducky them. We're just going to select them. Um, I have to change households, so we'll do this. Change active household. Yes, I would like to do that, and I want to choose them. So we will select them, and there we go. We are all set. All right, so here we are, and Thornton Wolf is standing outside. I don't know where his wife is, but we can take a look at him first. So here's Thornton. Uh, I think he's an older guy. I'm not sure. He has some gray tips in his hair and stuff like that, and he has this really, really hideous pinstripe outfit on. Now, I'm not sure if that's his everyday wear. I'm pretty, we can check. Um, I'm sorry. I never know where to click on this stuff. It's under basic. And then outfit. We'll make sure he's in his everyday. And he is. This is his everyday wear, which is freaking hideous. But this is him. So, Thornton Wolf, he is, oh, he is young. He looks like an old man. He looks like an older man. But he's young and he has nine days until he turns into a full-fledged adult. He has commitment issues, he's a perfectionist, he dislikes children, he's frugal, and he's very ambitious. So he doesn't really sound like the perfect husband to me, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, his favorites are Electronica Music, Lobster Thermidor, and the color blue. He is a Gemini, and for his whole life he's always wanted to be the CEO of a mega corporation, which just means he wants to be the top in the business career, so I'm assuming... Yes, he's in the business career. He's level 5 in the business career. He's a department head right now, and he's doing just okay. And um, he has some athletic skill and uh, some charisma. We take a look at his relationships. He is pretty close with Morgana Wolf, his wife, but um, considering that apparently they don't get along very well, um... Well, not that they don't get along, it's just like the things that she really wants out of life. He is opposite, and he doesn't want the same. I don't know if they're going to end up working out in the long run. Um, don't know what that notification is. But right here, interestingly, his only other friend is Jamie Frio. Sketchy? I think yes. Uh, he only has one friend, and it's another blonde-headed beauty with a lot of makeup on her face. So that's, this is Thornton Wolf. And then if we go to Morgana Wolf, uh, she is out somewhere else. She's at the library, like a party animal. Um, <laughs> the library will load. Or we can just look at a... Why does this always happen? Maybe this is why my save file is so glitchy, because the sims disappear. Anyways, let me reset her. Alright, so I ended up having to reset the whole town and keep having issues with the sims, like, falling through the floor, which is the strangest glitch. Um, but anyways, here is Morgana Wolf. I'm not sure if you pronounce it Morgana or Morgana, but since I'm from Texas, I'm probably just gonna go with Morgana. Morgana? Morgana? I don't know. Morgana Wolf. She 
Um, her traits, she's a workaholic. She's very family oriented. She's good. She's artistic and she's charismatic. So she seems like a really nice lady. She is also, a, she's younger than her husband, Thornton. And she has 14 days till she ages up into an adult. Um, her favorites are classical music, spaghetti, and the color Spiceberry, which is a very specific, interesting color. And uh, she is a Libra. And her whole life, she's always wanted to be surrounded by family. So she actually would like to have five children and um, raise them to be teenagers. For her career, she is actually level four in the medical career. So she's a medical intern. And mm, if we look at her relationships, she's close with her husband. And her good friend is Pauline Wan. So these are the wolves. Um, let's take a look at their house go ahead and just come in here their house is really cool I think if you come in here in this level where you enter where is even their front door um what is this their front door anyways I'm pretty sure the front door is up here so you look up here and you come in and here's a guitar right here which is the most strangest thing ever just a random guitar sitting there for people to stare at it's kind of weird and then if you look over here, they have a table, which is two chairs because it's only the two of them for right now. And they have some extra chairs in case they have guests, like, push to the side. And here's their kitchen, which is pretty nice. So there you go. And then we come over here, and here's the living room. They have three lamps on one table. It's just kind of a strange way that EA used to decorate back in the base game days. It's just strange. And I think they have come a long way so I would expect to see some better looking stuff in the Sims 4 base game but that's just my expectations um, so if you come over here they have a little library nook with two chairs facing out with a beautiful view of the ocean like seriously look at this view and the lighthouse that is seriously the most pretty view I'm gonna turn this light off turn off this light but it still has a glare on the window but Seriously, it's a beautiful view, I think. Uh, I would love to have a view like that in my house. Oops. I don't know. That picture is probably really weird and ugly, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not so artistic, guys. With my uh, photography skills. Um, that's a really nice view for them to have. And they have two chairs so they can sit there and read together. Um, this is the part that I really like, is you come out on their balcony, and they have, like, a telescope so they can scar star bleh, stargaze, and then they have this patio right here that overlooks the beach, which they can actually go down and hang out on this beach. I don't know if there's a pathway or anything, I guess they can walk down this way and head down to the beach, which is so cool, this house is in just a really cool area. So, if you go downstairs... They have a little bit of a workout room down here in a bathroom. Uh, nothing really extraordinary. And they have a little bar out here in the patio. And of course they have a gigantic pool out here and some places where they can park their cars. And some little like lawn chairs and stuff like that. So we go back up to the main floor. And then we go up. I'm assuming, yes, their bedroom is up here. And this bedroom is huge. What in the world? Um, I'm guessing this is supposed to be... Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. So, I'm sorry about that. Um, my phone has been literally ringing off the chazane tonight. But, as I was saying, it looks like there's some kind of, like, uh, excuse for a, um, a, I don't know what you would call it. A, um, movie theater. That's the word. Look, this is kind of like what I tried to do in my, um, in my legacy house, I tried to make a fireplace in the middle of the room, and I want to know how they did that. They, like, double stacked it. Anyways, um, this can, like, most likely be updated, um, but they have, it just looks like they do everything together, you know? Like, there's two chairs set out for everything, so that's what their house, their home looks like. You go into their bedroom, and this is a massive bedroom, and there's probably so much I can do with this when I renovate, and I'm actually really excited this view is freaking the bomb.com. Like, seriously, if you could sleep and just, like, wake up and see that, uh, seriously, I would never leave my house. I would never leave the bed, actually. Um, 
So good thing that I don't have a view like that from my bed. And then you go over here, and of course they have they have two separate bathrooms. So I'm guessing this would be more Gana's because it has makeup and stuff laid out. And this would be Thornton's just kind of plain old bathroom. So yeah, this house is very base game, but you have to remember that this did come with the base game. There's not really going to be much more in the house, but this is how it works. Um, oh, and I forgot this section over here. This is like, I guess, their office section where they work. Um, so you come up here, and it's meant to look like like there's some kind of like desk right here so they could totally run a business out of here and you know work on the computers and run a business where people come up here I don't know what the what the meaning of all this is and they have a chess table and some more bookshelves and things like that and another bathroom so their house is really awesome like was told to me by I forget who suggested this and may have been Yasmin Strong because that girl Mm, she's on top of it. Every time I ask you guys for suggestions, she got me. She got my back. So that is what I love about you guys. And I wish that a lot of you would um, feel free to leave suggestions and responses to things because that is what I love the most is chatting to you guys. And I cannot stress that enough. Like, if you haven't already, you should hit me up on Twitter and we can just chat about whatever, your dog. I don't care. I just love chatting to you guys. So anyways, um... This house is very strange looking, but I think it's beautiful nevertheless, and I think there's a lot I can do with the renovation and things like that. So, now, um, after I showed you who these people are, and it's kind of late at night on a Friday night, but after I showed, the UP, bleh, I showed you who these people are and I showed you their house, I'm going to go into create a sim, and this time it's going to be a little bit different. I'm actually just going to like speed up me creating them so you guys can see that. I know I've never done an actual create a sim video on my channel before, and maybe this will be something like that that you guys would enjoy. So I'm going to go into create a sim, and you guys can see me do their makeover. It's going to be it's gonna be an experiment. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the other side.
All right, so that is about it for their makeovers. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of makeover better instead of me doing it and just showing you guys. Um, I know I'm really indecisive. I kind of had a hard time with Morgana. I was like, I really could not decide what to make her wear, but I think it all turned out pretty good in the end, and I'm satisfied. Um, oh my gosh, when I was doing a photo shoot with this family for the thumbnail, I got so attached. Like, I really like this family. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am just to see what kind of drama unfolds with them. <laughs> like, ah! Anyways, don't forget to leave a like, comment anything, interact with me, and if you're not already subscribed, then you should go do that because I really would appreciate it. Anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic day or night, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys!